Sangdam tribe are one of the major Naga tribe living in the Dingsang and Gifu district of Nagaland. The British surveyed them led by Woodrop, who first entered the northern Sangdam territory during the 1870 to 1880s. Sangdam are the people who migrated from Sangdam, now Sidimi, under Zaniboto district, which was their ancestral village. Thus, the word Sangdam was interpreted as Sangdam by the British when the British asked the people about their tribe. They replied that they were from a place called Sangdam. As part of oral history, the Sangdam people used to live in elevated platform house called Sangdam, which means platform, as part of traditional beliefs that they felt it proper to identify themselves by the pattern of the houses in which they live. However, during 1889, the first mention of the word Sangdam appeared in the Assam administration report by the British. According to the ancient belief, the Sangdam people believe that the word Sangdam has been derived from the old word Sadin, which means freely or auspicious. Both the Aos and the Sangdam lived together in Zhongli Yendi, anciently believed by the people. Later on, the Ao feel too crowded for them to live in together. The Aos, who were the ancient Oguben of the Brazil northern Sangdam area, migrated to the Brazil Ao land and wished that the Sangdam people live freely in the village. We also find this reference in the poem, Stone People from Longka by our immediate Naga boy, Tamsu Laao. Please don't forget to get a copy of it. It's very interesting. As such, the Sangdam people were called Sadim, which later on was changed to Sangdam by the British. The Sangdam people are mostly living in Gifu district and in Lungkim Charisargol in Dingsang district of Nagaland. They speak the language called Sangdam. It is also called Tsukumi, Isa Chanare or Lofomi. It is a Naga language spoken in Northeast India. Agriculture is the main occupation of the Sangdam because the majority of the people living in the rural villages. The primitive method of jam cultivation is still extensively practiced in spite of favorable climatic conditions and fertile soil. The agricultural techniques adopted by the farmers are still semi-primitive and pre-industrial in spite of the government's efforts. They cultivate gas crops like potato, soya bean, different kinds of local beans, maize, millet, and barley are grown in the field. Kolar, a local type of bean, is very popular in the Gifu district and is found in plenty. Domestic animals such as pig, fowl, goat, gal, and buffalo are also seen in many. Huge deposits of mineral resources are available in Kifir district with high quality of limestone deposit of nickel, gopal, chromite and magnetite are also found in this district. Like most of the villages in Nagaland have its unique history, the Sangpure village of Gifri district under Longmatra block which was recently declared as heritage village has a history to tell. One of the most magnanimous charms of the village. Apart from this, natural huge resources of brine are also found as part survey conducted by the State Department of Geology and Mining and the Geological Survey of India. At the Saramadi build, varieties of rocks are found. Gifu district, which can boost up the state economy because they are very rich in natural resources if it used properly. Before the introduction of Christianity, the Sangdam believed 
in the supreme extents that control the whole system of the living and the non-living beings and indicates everything in one way or the other. Sangam believes in the mystifying powers associated with nature forces like storm, fire, and other natural calamities as well as nature like the moon, sun, stones, river, lakes, etc. They believe in numbers of spirits and supernatural forces related with the cycle of life. But today, the entire Sangam community has been converted to the Christian faith thereby transforming their way of life, cultural practice, family, and communal life with the introduction of Christianity. <laughs> the Sangdam people build elevated platform houses with the help of bamboo, leaves, and other natural products available in the forest. Anciently, the identity of the Sangam people was known by the kinds of houses they built. They build their houses with a minimum distance so that they can have enough place for gatherings during festivals and other occasions. The Sangdom tribe celebrate different festivals, but the main festivals among them are Mungmung, Zosu and Hanabungbi, celebrated in September, March and August respectively. So let us understand the significance of these festivals. Mungum is celebrated from 1st to 6th of September. The festival is celebrated for 6 days every year. The number 6 holds the significance of consequent importance in the Sangdom tribe as it is the day after which the sixth day when a new baby is christened and also when the people die their family mourn their loss for a number of six days. Each day of the festival is important to the entire festival as a whole. The Sangdam people offer their due respects and prayers to the gods once the seed is gathered in the Farda lands begins to cultivate and grow. The prayers are for a very thriving and good cultivation. The Mumun festival differentiates the death from the living. Residual of the prayer is done once in the morning and once in the evening. The Mumun prayer is considered more powerful, bring health and prosperity. Whereas the prayer constituted in the evening is mainly done for the banishment of evil spirits. They remain around their lanes and bring in bad vibes. <laughs> Josu festival is commonly known as Mitung. It is usually celebrated during the spring season during the month of March. This festival is celebrated before the sowing of seeds in the new fields. The village priest is the first person to go and construct the hut after performing prayers and evoke God's blessing for good and plenty of harvest and protection from natural calamities. This festival is celebrated between 12 to 16 March every year. Hanabung Pi festival is celebrated during the second week of August every year. This festival is celebrated especially for children for their good upbringings and better future. <laughs> Sangdam has six different and distinct plants, namely Tungra, Jingra, Langdi Tungra, Ratti Tungra, Mungzara, and Anara. Marriages within the same clan are not allowed, but intermarriage between these six clans are permitted. They break this the bride price system that is demands of price for the bride before the introduction of Christianity. 
The bride was bed to the girl's parents depending upon the position and status of the girl's parents in exchange of bride which is commonly known as dowry system which is still practiced in many places within India. If the girls are from a rich family, the bride was paid in the form of one or two meton, beaks or cows. This system of bride bride system was practiced as the belief that it would bleed up the marriage and less chance of divorce because if the divorce is from the bride side, her parents had to return the entire price along with other expenses of the bride. But if the divorce was from the groom's side, the bride was not considered. But with the introduction of Christianity, the practice of bride brides is not practiced anymore in the state. Thus, the men were more significant and have more power than the women. The whole gland is ruled and governed by males. That's all about the short history of Sangdam Naga tribe of Nagaland. Please leave your valuable command in the command section below.